Hello, and welcome to Pravi's Wheelhouse. Uh, today, I'm going to play some uh, Battle Block Theater. Now, I have played this before, so sadly I can't, uh, I can't show you the part that I really want to show you. Which is the, the opening, uh, the opening trailer. Because it is absolutely hilarious. But, um, there's a fellow by the name of Jim Sterling who managed to... He played Battle Block Theater and recorded it and whatnot. So, you go check his stuff out. Because then you'll get to see it all and that wonderful opening bit and the little tutorial at the beginning, which is hilarious. The announcer guy in this particular thing game uh, makes it all worthwhile. And you'll hear him talking in the background and whatnot. So, here we go. Feel free to customize your prisoner, or uh, performer. <laughs> yes. Look at these. Why not? That'll work. And in we go. Yes. Oh yeah? Oh yeah? Well, I'll be the best performer ever. Now, I've already beaten Chapter 1, but I'm going to go through it and play it again, just to show you good people uh, what's all is going on in this game. It's a super fun little platformer. Here we go. Oh, it smells like beef stew in here. It's making me sick and hungry at the same time. <laughs> Everybody in the pool! Master of the floating air yarn! <laughs> the floating air yarn! Just like that. to do that. little fast-paced platformer. You run around, you have to collect all the gems and the yarn and wow, do it in time. <laughs> do it faster than they do, the game developers, in order to uh, Thank you. 
No! Oh. You know a guy who might be interested? There we go. Oh, and I got a golden hat. Do, 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 do. I have no idea why there was a golden hat there. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I love this announcer guy. Whoever they got to do his voice is hilarious. Alright, A, A, and A. Let's see if I can't improve on that time. Gems of three will set you free. Time? Come on, let me have done the time. Can't complain, can't complain. Aww. I didn't get the time on that one. Too slow. The first of many. Cat lover. Just an A. Oh well. Good enough. 
good enough for government work. The music in this game is really good, too. Whoops. I can do this. One of the things I, I really like about this particular... Ooh, I got a time on that one. I really like about this game is that while it is very frantic, very hectic, you got to be moving, especially if you want to get what you want to get. What's this? Uh, there's also the fact that if you die, it's just your own fault. It's not the fault of the game. It's not anything cheap on the game's part. Uh, you can you can always tell that because the level design seems to be set up very very tight. Not that I am any sort of uh, particular uh, great game designer or anything like that. It's just something that I seem to, that, that I've noticed, I think is the case. everything that I believe about that. But I've played a few platformers in my day, and this is a lot like the best platformers that I've played. Where I've never felt that my deaths were in any way the fault of the game. Yeah! 
E plus plus. All right, here we go. What I get, what I get, what I get. Come on. Give me the time. Yes. And then this one here is the fun little the fun little finale level. As you can tell by the giant cat head. Then you got the encore levels, which are timed bonus levels. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go through this because the the time levels are really interesting. Uh, the finale, I should say. Plus, there's also. This little thing back here. You can explore. You see the whole thing of cats out there. Do not escape, just act natural. And it's got it set up so that it's like kind of like like every all the levels you've been playing are just theater productions. <laughs> Time to go.
second. Right. Come on, come on, come on. I got the highest, I think. And I'm famous. Chapter complete. And here we go. You with sure another know one. how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but Thanks. boy, this place is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? Yep. I would. And you Good know, you. a little warning would have been nice. You know, before they threw us headfirst into this gladiatorial prisony place with its perilous medley of twisted stage productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane. But you know, whatever. Either way, it's safe to say we're in quite a pickle jar here. We gotta rescue our friends and get back to Mr. Bo. I mean, they do the same for you, and adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land. Food <laughs> so stupid delicious, one taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat! And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely ass <laughs> always tells the best bedtime stories, hands down. Plus, she always smells like chocolate. So that's good. And then there's this guy and this handsome fellow and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned. And they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning he gave everybody flowers and presents and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never. Something fishy's going on here and I think... I think I don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, <laughs> albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater? I don't know. But use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. What? Why did, why did it do that? That was, that was scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hmm. as you can see, the the announcer guy is absolutely hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna go and uh, I didn't finish the last two encore levels here, but I'm gonna go pop in chapter two and just see what this is about. Why not? I won't leave him behind. Encores. And all these are locked. Until I beat the rest of them. Prisoners in here. Let's go check out the gift shop. See what the weapons are. And this is a trading post for when you're playing with other people online, you can trade your goods. I would guess. Pop downstairs. Let's release a few more prisoners while we're here. Yes, I do. <laughs> oh, what a chef face. Ooh, a guy with goggles. Who's your attire, sire? Stars, chicken. I like the triangle though. 
scarf. Yeah, we're going with goggles. Okay. Alright, level 2-1. I'm gonna play, well, I'll probably have to play through three of these. So yes, three more levels and then I will call it a day. I want to see what level 2 is like. to tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. Okay. Watch out for those spiky things. What are they called? Oh, spikes. Good. <laughs> there we go. That took me a bit. Wow. <laughs> I probably didn't do well. Other prisoners can learn a thing or two from this guy. Oh, hey, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right, too. It doesn't matter how long you take, as long as you, um... As long as you get over. As long as you get all of the, uh, all of the, oh. Ha <laughs> ha 
Okay. You've got an A. That is one of the most bizarre things I've ever seen. That is apparently the secret um, level, and I only got a C in that because I guess I went through the secret level. And it kicked me out. So I'll, I'll leave this one for later, because I have to come back and beat this one normally. But yes, this is Battle Block Theater. I hope you've uh, enjoyed watching me flounder around and giggle like an idiot. <clears throat> I'm definitely going to be playing more of this game, uh, either on myself, or by myself. I can't play a game on myself. <laughs> but definitely by myself, maybe on this channel again some more. Uh, we shall see. So for now, uh, you all take care and I'll see you next time.